All right, guys, welcome along to stream number eight, episode number 21 on YouTube of our Tunic Let's Play. Um, joined once again by the fabulous, fabulous Deathwish 808 um, to provide his insight and banter along the way. And um, yeah, last episode, things got a little bit spicy. And we got a brand new ability that Deathwish doesn't know about. What Look might that be? You want to uh, take a look at my character? So let me uh, let me give you huh. your VI. Let me give you your VIP screen. Um. Yeah. No, notice anything different, Deathwish? Yeah. But what um, you notice different, Deathwish? Let me let me switch to Discord. Uh, you're not a ghost anymore, for one. Yeah, that's correct. That is correct. Uh, and you got that headdress and the light. Yeah. So. The headdress is what we got, the reward we got for completing the gauntlet, basically. And um, it's got a it's, it's got a little ability that comes in useful. Uh, just, oh, dash. <laughs> nice. Uh, we've, we've kind of been saying the whole time that we're going to have like some sort of dash, dash ability or jump ability. Yeah. And uh yeah, so it's kinda like Oh, a, that's that's freaking amazing. So yeah, we, we got that. And then I thought, well, okay. Now that we can clear some gaps, there was some interesting things at the hero's grave. If you remember back to the hero's grave when we teleported in, there was like you, you went up a spiral staircase and there was a gap. And there was like some of the power up items that you could pick up. I don't know if you remember. So all of the vaguely, vaguely, I think. Like there was the tooth, the fox, the flowers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So using the dash ability, we was able to pick up all of those, ah, and nice. that actually, uh, once I got all of those, it um, unghosted me. So we're oh, still wow. we're still in the ghost world, but we but now you're not have a ghost anymore. yeah, as you can probably see, we've got all of our um, health bar and everything back. Yeah, which is quite nice. Um, but we was able to obviously do things like this and get like the uh, piece of the manual and stuff that were over here. Um, oh, wow. I knew there had to be something. I mean, you did, everybody did, but I was wondering what it was going to be, whether it was going to be a jump or a dash kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, I think the dash is better than a jump. And then the manual also gave us uh, like quite a few pages that we've kind of completed Nami as well. Code. Uh, but yeah, Konami code that can be used on certain doors, and um, we still got one yeah, to find. Right up, but up, up, this up. was one of the doors right here, and um, yeah, it was just a, again, it was a like a hidden piece of the manual that we got from here. Nice. But um, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much where we are. The gauntlet wasn't too bad in the end. I'll be honest. Uh, and the and the dash doesn't take a huge amount of your. Uh, stamina. stamina away. No. Which is nice. It shouldn't. Yeah, just a little piece and you get it right back. So that's pretty cool. That would, that'll definitely help with the uh, uh, bosses. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Well, yeah, if you could go back and play earlier bosses, you'd be able to completely wreck them with that one addition. So like I said, we are we have one of these doors left to find, and it's this one right here. And I think I think it's in the um down in the forest somewhere, but I'm not a hundred percent certain. Um it doesn't look like we can go that way, so yeah, I'm going to head back over towards the forest. 
and uh, just like mega abuse power. Oh, it's here. Here's the door. Look, here it is. Army code accepted. All right, three chests. Chest number one. <laughs> Magic. A blueberry! Yay! Ooh. Uh, a fiery sword death card. And, and coins. Coins. Okay. So, what does that one do? Do we know? Uh. Fire more, da and more damage, less health. Possibly. I don't know. That's how that's, I read it. <laughs> yeah, no, no it's, a, it's, it's not a bad shout, to be fair. Oh, okay. It puts you literally on no health at all. That's interesting. I but think you have... Uh, I'm assuming you have mega damage, then. Yeah, I, th I think you nailed it on the head with what you... What you, uh, what you called it. Yeah, while well, uh, you gotta pull that out sparingly. But I'd be interested to see how much damage it does. Yeah, well, why don't we see if we can find somewhere to actually use it? I would imagine that against average uh, Smojos along the way, one hit would wipe them out. But bosses. Obviously, it wouldn't be a one-hit deal, but it would, it would knock them down quite a bit. Man, the places you can go now. Yeah, I also I also worry, though, that I'm probably going to end up... Trapping out, yourself. Out of bounds somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I was like going to say, if, if anybody's right going to find a way to trap themselves. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't... Okay. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm screwed. Mistakes were made. Uh, <laughs> me and Jason. Oh, there, we there we go. Yep, there, we go. there we we're go. Out. We're out. Yeah. Yeah, me and me and Jason were playing Halo Four on Xbox, and uh, uh, I was driving. He was on turret in a vehicle, and. Uh, I went for this jump across a gap, just missed, and we sat on the other side, hung up, and then got out, and we were like clipping through all kinds of shit. Yeah, it's definitely found a, <laughs> a big bug in the game. We were able to clip all over the place, but but couldn't actually get out to do anything to continue. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I, I did find I did break it. I did break this game. Well, I didn't break it. I found a spot the other day, actually, around here, where if you walk too fast, you actually end up um, just falling off the map, and um, <laughs> you fall off the map, and you basically go underneath the map, and you yeah, you're, you're screwed basically. Uh, one of those. Gotta love that. All right, I'm just gonna save first. I don't have to come all the way back here. Let's try this out against this enemy over here. One hit, one kill. Well, um, that didn't do anything. The sword is broken as well. Yeah, I was gonna say it. You were definitely hitting him, it seemed, but it wasn't doing anything. Interesting. What the hell? That's. I'm, I'm not sure how that'll be useful, but. You know. So what's it good for? Wah! Yo, Napaz. What's going on, dude? Welcome along. Hope you are well. Napaz tricks. Tricks are for kids. Napaz is a um. 
games reviewer, actually. He's, um, he yeah. plays and reviews games. Okay, cool. Awesome guy. He's quite, quite a cool guy, so go and check him out. Yeah. Where are you? Yeah, five cups is, uh, regardless of the kind of coffee it is, unless it's decaffeinated, <laughs> it's just a lot of caffeine. Yeah, I've been, um, <laughs> paid to fake an article. <laughs> um, I've, I've been almost cutting down on coffee recently, to be fair. I haven't drank coffee since, uh, I'd say about 21 years now. I cut down. Out. I cut down a lot a few years ago. Actually, I was like drinking like I wouldn't say I was drinking like a lot of cups a day, but I was drinking very strong coffee. I was like going for like a heap teaspoon and a half in like a in a cup, which I think was a bit obsessive. If I'm completely honest. Um, yeah, well, that means you're drinking by numbers. You're drinking more than one cup in your cup. Yeah, and then like the other week when I had that kind of, I uh, wasn't, I was feeling a bit off it. I kind of cut out coffee completely, and uh, just since then I've just kind of like not really gone back to drinking a lot, I'm trying to limit myself at like two or three cups a day. So yeah, I, st I stopped drinking in my late twenties, and then. Uh, uh, I completely cut out any sodas in my early 30, like 31. And then uh, the only time I drank a soda was when I was sick and I, I yeah, just sore throat, not feeling well, whatever. I would have like a non-caffeinated, like a decaffeinated Coke or something that's already like, you know, like uh, ginger ale or Sprite Seven Up. Yeah, doesn't have doesn't have caffeine in it, but the, the you know the carbonation was seething. Yeah, I mean yeah. I'm I'm not a big I'm not a big. But soda other than that, I drink just water. I've been I've started drinking a lot more like cordials and um, squashes. Um, uh, but... I don't I don't know what those last two words are. A juice like um okay so like con con like you know like the concentrated fruit drink that you get and you dilute it with water i don't know what you would call it over in america oh, okay okay yeah, I know it's either cordial about. or squash we call it over here uh yeah we have that, like where you have your bottle of water and you squirt it into it yeah it's all similar yeah yeah okay yeah gotcha i don't i forget what they call it over here <laughs> But it's not squashes. That's a vegetable. <laughs> of the butternut variety. <laughs> oh, butternut squash. Oh my god. So good. Not, I'm not really like a big person for like that sort of food, if I'm honest. I, I'm not a squash fan, but I will say butternut uh, spaghetti squash and acorn squash acorn squash yeah there's those are all, all have a naturally great flavor and spaghetti squash you can literally cook it pull it out i don't know if you've ever had it but pull it out with a fork and put put your tomato sauce and stuff and eat it like spaghetti but instead of all the carbs and stuff you're having a vegetable as your noodle and it's and it's really good the uh, yeah i could see and i've had some uh i'm not a vegetarian or vegan or any of that but i could totally be one but i would have to have somebody uh making the food for me because it's i, I found that it's uh it, it takes a lot of learning to to make good vegan or vegetarian meals 
it, it actually really tastes good. Yeah. And I, I went to a wedding. Uh, uh, they were they were vegans, and you had they didn't give. It, what was messed up is they didn't give any other option but vegan. They didn't give anybody that like they didn't even do fish or chicken or anything. It was just yeah, it was a straight up vegan. You have no choice. Sorry, you, you suck. This is our wedding, and if you like any kind of meat, f you. And uh, but but I have to say what I got, and it was absolutely fantastic. You know? Yeah. I don't have to have meat if as long as I'm getting what I need and it tastes good. I don't care what it is. <laughs> I can kind of understand why, I guess, you know, but I, yeah, I don't know. I, I think kind of feel like as much as you're, I don't know, I suppose it's diff difficult for like a vegan though, as much as your beliefs are like that that's what you are, I suppose. I'm sure. Would have kind of been. Ugh, I'm trying to think of like the word I'm, I'm looking for. I suppose like we as as carnivores, we kind of cater for for them sort of thing. I don't know. I don't know. I, I I'm just gonna stop that one. There. We are we are not carnivores. Not I must correct you there. Well, we, we are, are omnivores. omnivores. Sorry. <laughs> I do apologize. <laughs> which is, which I think is the best kind of, kind of bore. Because you, you get to eat all of it. <laughs> all right, so now we need to try and work out what we need to do next. Man, you love that dash, don't you? Yeah, I said this to LB last night. I was like, oh dear, I'm going to be uh, spamming this one now. <laughs> yeah, I, got, I have to say, I would be too. I mean, that's just, you, you travel faster. And yeah, it's just, that's like a, just a fun thing. Simple as it is, you know, it kind of does hold a lot of power. For simplicity. What's going on, Mr. Fab? Sorry I didn't say hello to you. I hope you're well, dude. We are um Yeah, doing a bit of secret on this this cave is interesting. I feel like I should be able to do something here, but I don't know what. How do I get rid of the The screens at the bottom on Discord. Screens on the bottom? You know, like, uh, I, I, I clicked something and I forgot now. I used to remember how to do this, but. You can, uh, um. Like, like I got my, my chat window, your chat window, and then the, then the uh, game window at the bottom, all three next to each other, and I can click on one and it pops up above it in full screen. But there's a way to make the any one of them. Are you on grid? There's at the top. Is there? Have you got an option for like grid or focus? Uh, let me see. Yeah. Okay. Now focus. Well, What's that. Which if I if I click on if I click on uh the game screen, it'll it'll go to focus, and if I. And then I can, they're all three the same size, full screen. And then I can click on one and it'll make it partially full screen, but still have the three at the bottom. Uh, in which case, I'm not sure then. You're supposed to be the knowledge of all that is Discord. Yeah, I did something. I had a full screen the other day, and then I apparently trigger fingered and hit something. 
where I can't make it actually full screen, full screen. Hold on, what is it? So there's another secret like these these markings here eh, on not the a walls. Big deal. That doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of locations with those on walls, and I'm not entirely sure what they mean. Oh, is there no way down here? Oh, that was a bit of a waste of time. Uh, I'm lost. Thought that was the way to the forest. Well, uh, I'm on my way to another stream takeover. Yeah, I don't think I'm worried just yet. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a little over a tenth of tenth of the way there, so yeah. It'll be a while. <laughs> oh. Hello. I done did found a secret. Going. Where are you going? Um, is it a secret or did you break it? Yeah. <laughs> That's a question. Well, I'm traveling a very long way underneath the map here. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be kind of weird. Underwater, under... Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you go back behind that waterfall? Yep, okay. You got a shortcut of some type. If that could be considered a shortcut, I don't know. That's, That's weird. There's uh, got to be... I mean, to me, I would feel like there's got to be something more to it than just traveling underneath. Granted, there's, there's less obstacles to get around to get to the other side. I honestly thought it was going to be something where I, I come out here and I could I got this chest. I thought it was like I'd found the secret okay, yeah. of this chest. But no. What about that waterfall? Okay, so you can do now yeah, so you can travel through waterfalls. Alright, where's the next waterfall? <laughs> Nox Skidney, waterfall chaser. <laughs> That's the one you already went in. No, this one isn't. Oh, no, never mind. It'll... Just on the same side. Oh. Yeah, take a rest. Take a load off. I haven't been able to do that before. Oh. We're back. time now. Oh, okay. Okay. So you could advance the hours. So now we have the option to switch from day to night time. Interesting. And, and I assume that would give you different things. Yeah, because at night time there's like some of the like void stuff that blocks off certain paths. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. Wow. Look, look at the fight those enemies are putting up. One out of ten should have stayed in bed. Okay. So you're not even using your grappling hook anymore. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you're, you're it's kind of like 
it's almost like a grappling hook for you, like a Batman type thing to get ever to the person. Rather than bringing them to you, you just come to them that quick. Two hits seems to be magic number of hits. Yeah. Boy, that's different from when we started here. Yeah. <laughs> it was like one hit, now you're dead. And that was me that's dead, not them. <laughs> yeah. You're like hitting them ten times. Now it's just a mild inconvenience. <laughs> Alright, so not all of the waterfalls we can go under. It's fine. Well, that's not right. I caution in against. I think, if I remember rightly, let's just check the map. There was somewhere... I don't think I've been able to get to over here just yet. There's that, like, skull thing in the middle just over here. Pretty sure I haven't been there yet. Oh no, he hit me. <laughs> you're you're dead. He hit me. Dear. Man. You gotta brush up on your skills. Hmm. Also, um I wouldn't say it's spoilers, but I'm pretty confident based on subtle hints or subtle comments from somebody that um, there is something uh, there is something with the flowers we just haven't worked it out yet what to do with them uh, uh, LB mentioned something possibly possibly could have been LB hi mind if I take this is that okay Oh, wow, that's trippy. I think I need my 3D glasses. Door in the mountain. The hero's grave. What are we doing with that? The holy cross. We've been doing those. Bed. You want to bed? Something there, 22 something else. 22, something, 22. something. And winner is winner is you. Yeah. The ultimate championship round against Mega Boss. I feel like I'm going to get like my daughter's 3D glasses. Yeah. It just it just needs uh, some red and green in there. Door in the mountain. Okay, so this is, yeah, that's telling us about the, um, this is like the hero's grave. So this is telling us, we, we've done all of this anyway, but this is all the different bits and pieces that we was able to pick up to de-ghost ourselves, basically, from um, each of the hero's grave's locations. All right, that didn't really tell me a lot. Kind of hoping for a little bit more there. Still not sure, like, where... Did, was you here when we did this thing? I think we might have done that Saturday when you weren't here, actually. 
we, we did a thing here. We, we put in another Konami code. And um, a fairy popped out, but I don't know where the fairy went. I, I didn't see that. Yeah, that's the hidden path that we discovered before, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a quick way across. Uh, that's that's just that's just a shortcut, which yeah. is a nice shortcut. That avoids a lot of obstacles. Let's see if we've got any more secrets over here. Ruin the toll. Library annex. So, look through the telemoscope. The telemoscope? Yeah, the telemoscope. That's the British way of saying it, right here. <laughs> it's made out of aluminium. You mean aluminum? What's, what's that? <laughs> is, that a, is that a new composite or something? No, it's a new composite. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> There's got to be some hidden stuff I missed over here, surely. Oh. Oh. Where, where am I now? Underground. All secrets? No secrets. Still not really sure what the deal is with the um, the birds. Wow! Even he's only three shots now. It's crazy. <laughs> well, you know what that means. No, what does that mean, Deathwish? Enlighten me. When enemies like that are only a few shots, uh, think about your next boss fight. Yeah, I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I'm honest. <laughs> It's a bit, I don't know, I, I feel like sometimes it's a bit inconsistent. Like you have a big big light enemy like this, who takes three hits, and then you have like a small enemy that's like a quarter of its size, and that also takes three hits. But then, I don't know if that's more maybe to do with the whole... Um, Attack defense numbers. Yeah, like your, your attack is more powerful when you've got more stamina sort of thing. It's maybe to do with that. Not the deal is with bows either. Yeah, handle. Hey, a money pot. Hey, a kitty cat hat. It's not a kitty cat hat. 
That's a money box. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Needs Wrecked. no Pull oh, the handle. Shotgun blast. Did you pull the handle? For that part in particular. What handle are we talking about exactly? The one on top would look like a handle, like a lever. Maybe that's just me, I guess. Uh, you just got smacked. Phone a math. Achievement it's, unlocked. It's the dude in front of you. It almost looks like it's it's like a hybrid between uh, one of those blocks from Mario and, yeah, the yeah. and the and the Kevin blocks from Celeste, where you kind of like bash into the side and they move yeah. from side to side. Yeah, I totally see that. <laughs> they just need to go whoa, 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 whoa when you hit them now, and then that'll be perfect. <laughs> Yeah, so you got a half or, or a partially buried version of it right in front of you. What is that, though, exactly? Because it's... It's not in my inventory. That couldn't have been for nothing. All right, I got a look. Found secret treasure number 10. Basically all it says. So I think it's probably just a secret treasure that maybe does nothing. Yeah, I find stuff like that a complete waste. I think stuff that's especially sacred, uh, you shouldn't need it to get through the game, but if you do happen to find it, you should get a little, a little off on something. I don't know. That's just me. Uh, my controller is doing weird stuff. Is your bumper working? <laughs> my left bump is not. Which is unfortunate because that's like the menu as well. Well, then, maybe that's what it was for. Disables your menu. I'm cut. Oh, yeah. That's an interesting move. Yeah, like none of my left buttons are working. Right, well. Right. It's kind of like locked into like the left view. I don't think that's not, uh, supposed to be. Achievement unlocked. You dash too much. <laughs> Oh, wow. Wrecked yourself. <laughs> did, did that bounce back? It did. <laughs> Completely caught, caught me off guard. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I saw what I thought I saw. <laughs> Let me get up there.
Uh, I gotta use. Where is it? All right, I'm just going to rest. Oh, what? All right, I'm going to restart the game quickly. Um, so I will pause the uh, video here, and I'll do a quick ad break while we're doing this as well to get that out of the way. Uh, so yeah, be back in a mo, people. Okay. Okay, we're working. Okay, so it's just a bug in a rug. Yeah, it seems like it. We we can menu again now. Okay, cool. Man, I remember when theirs just had a run from. Yeah. As with a lot of stuff, it was just like dead. Thank you, man. <laughs> I can't handle it! Oh, man. All my coins fell in the water. No fair. Wow, what a tough enemy. You smack them and they kill themselves. They obviously don't value their lives very much. Uh, game just went by. switch to your voice screen oh okay uh, I, I did have, i did have to restart it because i restarted the game so probably why well i know it was fine up until just right then all of a sudden it just switched to your like cat now you're in knock and knock label screen I'm like what Uh, yes, I had to, all that effort to click click on the actual game screen again to get it back. Jeez. Sorry. The things I, the, the things I do, man. Sorry. <laughs> things I have to go through. Having to click all these extra clicks. Click through the telemoscope. Use that launch pad. Make it yellow. Uh doesn't really show me much. Uh you just got whooped. Or like the weakest enemy. 
That's the one that gives us damage. But of course. Damn it. I'm starting to think there's not very many secrets I haven't already found here. Doesn't seem that way at this point, but maybe they're more secretive than you think. Ah, tougher enemy. Wow. You had to take like eight seconds on that one. Yeah, he didn't move. He was lazy. <laughs> yeah, he had pretty good uh, defense. Just, just a little, a little slow. Like a sloth was a, with a shield and sword. done here there doesn't seem to be much more to do the only other thing here that I could think to do is to try and kill all of the mu like the, the music bird things but Problem with that is I don't know how many there are. Wow, that sound just completely changed for me. Though I think I'm deaf in my ear slightly. <laughs> yeah, that's a telemoscope. Is that what you thought was the lever before? Yeah, it, it, at that angle, it looked like it was like a big lever. <laughs> But it was a telemetric scope. A telemetric scope? Yeah, it's it more advanced. Is it as advanced as an abacus? Nothing as advanced as an abacus. Some people say an abacus. Abacus. Yeah.
That's an official way to say it. So I hear. Yeah, I'm not sure there's uh, a lot more to uh, to go here. Deathwish with the airboat giveaway. He actually remembered the command. Would you look at that? It's crazy, I know. Problem is, at the minute, is like, my guesses will be nowhere near because... I've not been keeping count. Not I've my no, problem. I've no idea whereabouts you are with your. Uh... That I uh, gave a pretty big hint earlier. What the you're near to another stream takeover? I don't believe it. <clears throat> oh well, no. I, I didn't say that. I said I'm, I said one. I'm closing in, and then I said something else. Uh, that kind of gave that uh, gave away to the thousands, or that you know, what what I have. But to get it within ten, that's a whole different story. Nika, you are not a winner. Sorry, I'm gonna call them as they come in. Uh, I, don't, I, 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 I think I think you I don't think you're very um, I will I say Mika's way over yeah I, I don't think you're anywhere near that if I'm honest I think you're more like 11,450 mark uh, you are the closest so far and you will be the closest if nobody else guesses. We'll say that you're less than a thousand away. I knew I should have gone for nine, but nine, but nine thousand. <laughs> uh, you still would have been in, uh, you would have been further away if you did. Obviously, there was a massive degree of sarcasm in um, what I just said. No, there wasn't. I detected none of it. <laughs> okay, no more guesses. Then the answer is... Zero. <laughs> now, you have something, now you have something to keep track of. Okay, so Still can't believe that thing is just like a hidden yeah, item just, and nothing else. Just there for nothing. Unless I'm massively missing something. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it seems to me that it seems even though it's not like hidden, but you definitely gotta go all the way out to find it. it seems like it would be something worth something more than just hey i found this because 
I don't care about that, personally. Hey, I found it, unless it's like, yeah, you were going for a, an achievement. Then I still don't care about it. On something like that, I just feel like it should, like, do something. Oh, hello, sneaky ladder. <laughs> yeah, as if you needed that. Okay, I'm starting to think that we've exhausted everything here. I was just doing uh, the rounds to see whether or not there was any more of those blue birds walking around. But I think I've bumped them all off now, so... Yeah, you made them run away. I think we've done a good job of making them all extinct. <laughs> 